Welcome to Craft Time with Mike. Today, we are going to be making some paper. People! The things you will need are a piece of paper, some scissors, and a pen. To get started, we're going to grab our paper and we're going to fold it once, hot dog style. Like this. We're going to fold it again, hot dog style. So you, have, you should have something that looks like this. Now what you want to do is you want to open it back up and you should have four rectangles. What you want to do is you want to cut out one of these rectangles. Make sure you have adult supervision because these are pretty sharp. We can set this aside. We're not going to need it for now unless you want to make some more. So right now you should have one strip of a, a rectangle piece of paper. You want to fold it once the long way. Make a nice crease. Fold it again the long way. Nice crease. And fold it one more time the long way. You should have a nice small rectangle. Open it up all the way. And you should have some even rectangle boxes. Now you want to start at one end, fold once, right? And then fold the opposite way. Again, fold the opposite way. And just keep going back and forth. Opposite way, opposite way. Just like a zigzag, keep going left and right, back and forth. And you should have something that looks like this. Now, what you wanna do is have the long side facing vertically, up and down. You wanna place it on your table. You wanna grab your pen, and you wanna draw out a stick figure layout. So I'm gonna draw the legs over here, right here. I'm going to draw the arms connecting to the leg, again on this side, almost like a 7. This one's going to be a backward 7, and we're going to draw the other arm, other arm, Go. let's go a little bit more in, we're going to draw the neck, and the head. Just like that. Now that you have your layout all drawn, it's time to cut these pieces out. Remember to have adult supervision when you're cutting. And we start cutting. And now that we have cut out all the pieces, it should look something like this. You have one person just like that now if you unfold it what you're gonna see is that you have a ton of little people now what you can do is you can decorate them however you would like to i drew some cool faces and some shirts on mine and the good thing is that you also have three other tries so you can make four batches of people i hope you enjoyed i hope you i hope you learned something new and i will see you soon